Hello, happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We've got Katie on camera. Say hello, Katie. Hello. And today it's spring. We're all starting to plant stuff out in our gardens. I'm going to do a post now on garden design. I may go on for a bit and I will bore you to tears if you're not interested. So just turn off now if you don't want to know. But if you do, this is how it's done. Garden design seems like quite an intimidating thing to do, but it's really quite straightforward. The first thing you've got to have are flowers and plants that you like. So you choose out your plants and you put them all on the floor, like this. And then what you do is, you put them into three piles, or three lots. Like these are tall plants, these are little plants, and these here are medium plants. Now the first bit of design is you've got to have the tall stuff at the back and the smaller stuff at the front. So that bit's taken care for you, absolutely taken care for you. You've also got to remember that you are an artist in this. This is your palette, and this is your canvas. Now I've weeded out quite all, all the horrible weeds and I've left a few things that have self-seeded by themselves. I've got some aquilegia and stuff. Um, that's how I do gardening. I like to leave stuff in if I like the look of it. But you might have a completely clear bed there. So what we do first is we put our big stuff at the back. Now I've got colours here. I'm going to spin down here, Katie. We've got this here, a Lobelia tuber, which is red. We've got this here, a Rubecchia, they're yellow. We've got the Agapanthus here, they're blue. And over here we've got the goat's beard and the crazy daisies and the pentanum, which are all white. Now they'll all be flowering in the summer, these ones, and so I'm going to mix them up so I'm going to have some blue with my yellow. So it's also a good idea to plant things in groups. Don't dot them all over the place. It won't look as um, fluid. You know, you want something to... So these are big, so they can go at the top there. These are agapanthus. I'll do another post showing you how to plant these. They like root restriction, but we'll, we'll do that later. So they can go at the back there. So I've got a nice bit of blue going on in the summer. And these here are going to turn into quite big plants. And so I'm going to put one there, one there, and one there. So now we're going to have our blue with our yellow in the summer. Look beautiful. And what have I got left? I've got some white, big white daisies. So we'll pop those there. So the, white, the yellows will be following through to the whites that will then go down to the red, which is also a big plant, so we'll pop in there. And in front of that, I'm also going to have the red leaf and the white flowers of the pentagon. So we've got a bit of um, flow with the colour. If you plant things that sort of have a similar colour next to each other, it, the whole thing seems to flow a lot easier. Anyway, so that's our big stuff out of the way. Oh, goat's beard. Hmm. Nice big goat's beard. I'm going to stick him over there. That'll turn into quite a big plant, lovely big fluffy flowers. Right then, medium stuff. I've got down here, get this one off, pull over a bit. <coughs> I've got some geraniums. These are geranium pretense. I've got some geranium uh, robusta. A couple of digitalis. These are uh, the rusty foxglove, they're called. And uh, a couple of these things, I can't remember what they're called. Oh, I'll do a post saying what they're called, but beautiful flowers, beautiful flowers. Right, so with this lot, I've already got a geranium coming up there. You see that, Katie? Spin it in. Well, I've left him there, he's self-seeded. So with the red of that one, I'm gonna put these finely cut leaves ones around it. Uh, and maybe pop him there. A bit further over. You don't want to plant stuff too close together. A lot of things grow quite big, and they do benefit from having their own space. Um, and so we'll have a bit more red coming across there like that. And then the red can be contrasted with the, the silver of the um, of the leaf on that one. So we'll pop him down there, or maybe up there as well, like that. Okay, these two digitalis, um, they're quite tall, so I'm going to pop those over here. And these things, which are beautiful, we can stick down there. Right, let's have a quick look. You have to imagine what's going to look like. You, you, you just sort of get those colours in your head and um, yeah, and I'm happy with that, I'm happy. So now we'll do the front row. What I'm going to do with the front row is I'm going to grow, um, I'm going to plant things that will follow on after each other with the seasons. Like at the moment, the hellebore in flower. If you want to spin onto those, Katie, see? And earlier in the year, the cyclamen were in flower. Next, we're going to get these aquilegia coming into flower. So what we can do is, we can plant our hellebore sort of around the aquilegia. 
So once our hellebore finish flowering, the aquilegia will push up through them and um, we'll have more flowers in the same bit of bed for longer. Cool. Right, and now some little tiny cyclamen. These things die away in the summer to nothing, but they come up in the autumn uh, with their beautiful flowers. I've got three different leaf types there. I'm going to plant them all together because that will just, um, it will look nice. It will look nice. So they're a little thing, so we'll pop those down like that. Now I've got some, <coughs> these are geranium macrorhinum. Again, uh, early spring flower, well, late spring flowering, early summer. Um, and these can go around here. These are forget-me-nots that I've left in, so they're going to be blue, so I'm going to get the blue with the white of those. And now, this beauty here, that are in flower at the moment, I've got four little babies, and I'm going to stick those in um, over here. So we'll have a few of these come up next year, with their lovely flowers on. And, drop my glasses, one more aquilegia, pop in there, and one more there we go, that's it. And now I'm going to have a play around with that for a bit. Um, move them about, get them to where you want, and then I'll do another post showing you how to um, plant them out. Various things need different conditions, like the agapanthus, they like their roots to be restricted. I'll do posts on it all, everything's falling over, and there we go. This has been Robbie Phoenix, down at Stinky Ditch Nursery with Katie on camera. Come and buy some plants. Happy gardening. <laughs>